Hi everyone. Hey, I've been talking a little bit uh, on my fishing trips about some different types of baits and riggings that we've been using and uh, wanted to show you kind of what we've been doing. So um, we've been using marshmallows, just the cheapest bag of marshmallows that you can get, just the miniature marshmallows, and putting them on uh, like a number two hook and then a piece of cut bait and that will float the cut bait up off of the from the sinker a ways. The problem with that is as the temperature warms up and the marshmallows get a little soft, they do not stay on the hook good at all. And so quite often you will find that you'll cast out and you'll throw the marshmallows off or if anything hits it um, and, and bites the actual, uh, the actual offering, the marshmallows will float almost immediately. So we found a, uh, an alternative and it's worked really well for us. It's a very specialized uh, uh, form of, uh, of, of equipment that you're going to have to go out and get um, if you choose to do this type of fishing. Um, it's very, uh, again, technical and I hope that you can grasp the technicality and the specialness of this particular uh, utensil that we're using. It's, uh, it's, it's quite amazing. So with that, hold on. This is what it is. It's a foam uh, dish brush. Uh, that you pick up at a very specialized store. And I will show you that now. Again, this is a just a foam dish brush and each one of these little pieces of foam will just tear off and it's almost identical to the size of one and a half to two miniature marshmallows. And you just run your hook through it and it stays on tremendously well. It's almost impossible to sling this off. Um, again, just a very uh, economical way of getting some lift and some buoyancy to your bait. This has worked really well for us. It actually holds scent really well as, uh, and, and on top of that. And uh, so it's worked well for us. So I hope that works for you guys. Uh, just a little tip and trick that we found has worked for us. Again, you can add as many of these as you would like. Again, it's just a dollar store foam brush and it's about, I think that when I counted the first one that I actually tore the little nubbins off of, I think it was around 60 of these in this ball and in this puff. And you can actually just pull this whole thing out of the ring here and it works really, really well. So I hope that works for you, a little tips and tricks and um, you know it keeps us from having to uh, sling our bait off and, and to lose a lot of bait. Marshmallows do work well. I mean I've used them for a long time. Um, I've known a lot of people that have had good success with marshmallows uh, and cut bait or worms and fishing for channel catfish. Um, and again we've just found this works just as well if not better and uh, it's very economical. I also um, played around with uh, putting these in a baggie, just tearing them off individually and uh, putting them in a baggie and putting some uh, vanilla flavoring in. Don't know that that helps or doesn't help, um, but it just gives me a little bit more confidence. Um, and again, it would be just like a, almost identical to a marshmallow. So with that, I hope it works well for you guys. Give it a try and we'll talk to you soon.